Hello! I wanted to do a video of my thrift store finds. Um, I've kind of been in desperation mode. Obviously there's no yard sales. Um, I have such a love-hate relationship with thrift stores. And as you can see, there's really not a whole lot here. Um, I'm still trying to, trying to be careful even though I am in desperation mode because I don't know if I'll be able to get to any flea markets this year or to sell anything. So I want to be careful with what I pick up, make sure it is sellable. But, um, not pictured here. I picked up a Light Bright right after Christmas from Goodwill, and it was only $3, which is more than I normally pay, but for Goodwill, um, pretty good. I thought it was a decent price, and it was right after Christmas, so I was able to sell it for $40. Um, yeah, so that's pretty exciting. I picked up a couple other things, but this is what I have here and now that has not yet sold. Um, I picked up this Barbie... Ferrari car and I got this at Goodwill and I paid I think it was six ninety seven so I paid seven bucks a lot more than I normally spend but I opened it up in the store it's in the original box the box is a little messed up but it is the original box I opened it up in the store I'm like okay well it's all here it's all in one piece looks good got it home <laughs> couple of issues um, stickers are missing the whole pinstripe is missing um, there's just various stickers missing. I did even, I think the stickers just come off after a while because there's some loose in the box that I put back on. But even with that, I'm still missing some stickers. Um, it looks like I'm missing a seatbelt. Maybe, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I had to leave the mirrors off because it won't fit in the box with the mirrors on. But, um, when I was in the store, I looked it up and it looks like these, it looked like these go for about 50 and I got home and I'm looking some more and if it's brand new, still sealed, yeah, it might be worth 50 bucks. So at this point, in this condition, I'm kind of hoping for 20 um, and I'll at least get my money back. So anyway, um, got this G.I. Joe board game. Um, I think it's almost all there. And it was at the Salvation Army, so it was only a dollar. Um, it's not worth quite as much as what I'd hoped, but um, it's worth between 10 and 20 I think. Uh, picked up another Pizza Hut dinosaur, um, Sharp Tooth. Um, I don't know if I've actually had this one before or not. I think he's one of the harder ones to find. Um, and I paid a dollar for him. I think. Um, picked up these books, um, uh, Salvation Army, so they were like, I don't know, like 30 cents, something like that a piece. But I picked them up. Um, and I have them on Etsy. Sometimes people like these just for, um, this isn't a good example, just for the pictures, like they'll, they'll, um, use them for crafts or whatever. I sold some stuff that way, so. Anyway. Um, these are, these are for my personal collection. Um, I bought these. The same day I bought um, a Sybil Danning copy of Three Musketeers in the big box that I sold for 20 bucks, And that day they must have been half off because he only charged me $0.49 cents a piece. So I got two, two VHS tapes for $0.49 cents at Goodwill, which is a really great deal. So, and I got, so I got these two and I got the Three Musketeers. I only paid $1.50. Um... So that was pretty cool. I like to buy these because if my internet's out and I can have like a marathon watch. And this is the best version of Pride and Prejudice in my humble opinion. Alright. Colin Firth notwithstanding. Alright, anyway. Um, got, I bought this Pandemic game. I just bought this today. Um, it doesn't really look like it's worth a whole lot on eBay. But because it's still sealed, I'm going to try to sell it on Amazon. Um, I've been watching videos of this guy that sells almost exclusively on Amazon, and he seems to do really well with it. Um, he sells used stuff, though, too. I'm not quite sure. I'm really kind of leery of that on Amazon. I also picked these up today. Um, they're like um, professional miniature cows from Germany. I did pay $1.97, but it looks like they're worth like $10, $12. Bucks. Um, this is a book, a bathroom reader's book I just picked up for myself. Um, last time I was at Salvation Army, I really lucked out. And I got three VHS tapes, and I always look at the VHS tapes, and I hardly ever find anything. 
Um, this one here, I'm guessing it's something that never made it over to DVD because this is still worth... Um, well, the one copy on eBay went for 25 but it's out of it was out of stock on Amazon, so I had, threw it up there for 99 And if it doesn't sell on Amazon, then I will throw it on eBay. And, you know, it was they were also half off, so you know I paid under 50 cents. If I sell it for 25 dollars, I'll still be happy. Um, I picked this up because I wasn't quite sure what it was. Spin and crash. Looks like a motor, maybe. I wasn't entirely sure, so I got it home with a little trepidation. I put it in my VCR. But yeah, it's uh, crashes, it's auto crashes on racetracks. Um, couldn't find another copy like it anywhere online, so that's always a pretty good sign. We'll see what happens. Um, and then this, I paid the VHS price, because it's in a VHS box. Um, but it's actually a DVD, it's a special edition DVD of a snowboarding movie. Um, I don't know. It's worth about 30 bucks on Amazon, doesn't seem to do well on eBay. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Like I said, not a whole lot. Um, but hopefully in two months I'll be back out yard sailing and be back in full swing. So, catch you then.